Hey to the masses, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Well, it is time again for our night conversation as we see Bryant is actually up, but he is playing around. So we'll sit here. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So we will actually sit here and we will discuss with you all. Can you please? <laughs> Woo, Lord. So, we're going to act. Can you not? Can we please have a discussion right now? Can you stop? Good gracious. Anyway, we are actually going to discuss. We're going to have a night conversation. We're going to have a nightcap, y'all. So, all right. So, last week, um, I discussed a couple of things. Um, and I guess the first of these that I... What actually so here we are, just dancing to our song. Um, just how of course, I cannot tell you which song um, because, of course, parenting not, a teenager actually um, is. I'm not sure. Or rather not, um, we'll not have permission or right. Actually, if it's just us or if this is the norm um, or what. Um, but to be quite frank you, with you all, it just seems like. Is that at the, um, I was driving to me, of course, it seems like it may be just me, and I'm actually surprised she when we. Rode, I'm actually surprised when I hear other parents talk about they're going through the same exact thing. Of the trip, um, it's rather surprising. It's rather shocking because we be sometimes when you're going office. through things, it just seems like that and it's you that and you're stuff. by yourself. What do you yeah. think? So once we were I mean, you feel that, like this is just me. I'm the only one going through this. We're the only ones going through this. Crazy. Why are we the only ones going through this? All right. Um, and it's, I mean, it, it, and when you hear others going through it, it it brings comfort, and also to hear other people's perspective is, um, it's imperative and it's key, uh, to give you, I mean, a sense of exactly you know, new ideas, and maybe you've been handling things, you know, incorrectly or something like that, but it gives you a new sense of a new direction and stuff like that. Um, what do you think? Really? Oh, yeah. Well, you most definitely think you know what I'm going through until... Make your other people say differently, and then you like, you know, hear what they're going through. Uh, it does make you uh, understand it's just part of life, and helps you out. Uh, feel that, you know, helps you feel better that you are not the only one going through it. And more than likely, you're not going through the same thing. Some things you may be, but. Uh, gives you to understand that, you know, their situation could be worse or it couldn't be worse, but they still going through something that gives you an outlook on in case it was to happen to you. You know, it's what I get you prepared, I suppose. Right. Yeah. Right. That's that's yeah. That's exactly right. So um, I think, like I said last time, it's just been very, 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 very difficult for, well, I wouldn't say difficult. I guess I'll say challenging. However, it was definitely God's will for us to go through the challenge because um, it's to bring us, it actually has brought us, of course, as usual, closer. And it allows us to see that us as a couple can go, we can survive pretty much everything. Um and it also just prepares us to be more aware um, and to pay more attention. And um, to it has actually made me um, come to grips with um, you. I mean, no matter what, I think I said this last time, but your children are not here for you. Um, they are brought to the earth through you, but they're not here for you. Um, they're not here to bring you pleasure or make you happy they're not here to satisfy you they have a whole nother calling um they have their own calling god has his will for their life and it um just involves you being the vessel and yes it, it's them going i guess it's them you know completing god's will for their lives and you're there with them but um their destiny a lot of times will not have anything to do with you if that makes sense um as, if I, as I think about my mom and I, I have my own path, 
um, and my mom is watching me walk my path. However, she's, um, however, my path and her path as far as God's destiny for my life, uh, we have our own paths, if that, if that makes sense. Um, my mom and I were a lot alike, uh, an extreme a lot. Um, she's extremely, um, she has a huge heart, um, extremely huge heart. She, um, and when I say extreme, it's almost sometimes um, to a fault. And that's, that's me. And um, she's loving and caring and... Um, she wants to help everyone. She wants to save the world. Um, and a lot of times she thinks about herself last. And we hear that all the time. Mothers doing that. Thinking about themselves last and stuff like that. But as I actually sat down, or sat around and looked around a couple of years ago. I noticed. Um, and my sister actually had to uh, privy me to this. But she said. You. Um, we usually get. To give you all an example, we usually get a large sum of money every Christmas from my mom and dad. Each one of us, my sister, my brother, and I, we all get a large sum of money. And every Christmas, I still spend all of my money on the kids. Every time I go in the store, I go directly to the kids section and see exactly what I can buy the girls. That's all I do. The girls, the girls, the girls, the girls. Until my sister brought to my attention um, exactly... Can one year she said, "Can you please spend your money on you? Can you spend your money on you? You have needs. You have things you need. You don't have your needs, um, and maybe you do, but it's time for you to get new, newer stuff. You deserve more. You work your butt off, um, and that's exactly it. I am extremely what you would call busy." Um, I stay busy, I'm always busy, and I don't know why I'm always busy, but I am, um, and because my, my day top job has a lot of, um, I have a lot to do at my daytime job, and then, um, I also have this, um, other business that I am, that I am just now starting, Brian and I were just starting with our business partners and we are extremely busy to the T. Both of our baby girls are in dance and then the middle girl is also in the play and she's also in debate and then um, our oldest is about to start working somewhere. So we are busy to the T. So, I mean, it, it, I, I'm so busy that I do not take time out for me time or anything like that. So, for example, today I literally at 6 o'clock, um, I clocked out of my daytime job because I work from home. You all know that, masses. And I literally came to my room and went to bed. Like, I literally laid down for an hour just to rest my mind. And, of course, my mind was still going, but I did that. And there are days that you need that, and when you do not do that, uh, there are ways for your body to tell you that you actually need that. So, today was one of those days. I literally had to come up here and lay down at 6 o'clock in the evening, and I laid down from 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock straight. Um, I did not... I tried to sleep, I tried to rest, I could not. However, I did relax, and I had the lights off, and I was able to relax with the lights off. It was just uh, myself, and um, I was just, you know, um, laying here, just talking to God, trying to get some clarity on um, exactly what path I should take um, as far as, um, my next move business wise as far as my next move um, weight loss wise as far as my next move um, financially wise so you know I'm just trying to get a lot of clarity and a lot of times the only way for you to get clarity is if you shut everything down so I just want to say yeah. so you know it was so many, you know, it's been so many days that I've actually thought about because of um, our oldest daughter's actions. Um, and 
I mean, am I am I a good mom? Am I not a good mom? If I'm not a good mom, what am I doing wrong? I know I'm not perfect because I'm extremely busy. However, I'm also not neglectful, not abusive. I'm none of those things. So, um, and my husband's not either. So it was just so confusing. But our saving grace is um, has been the two babies to show us. No, you all are good parents. No, you all are doing the right things. It's just that children are going to ultimately choose to do what they want to do. And for all those out there that kids are not doing anything or you're saying, Oh, my child's great or my child's this. It's all from different perspectives. There are some things that I do not, I will not accept as being great or fine. And there are other parents that probably, I mean, they're used to it because they did the things that, uh, they did the things that my oldest daughter are is doing and you know to them It's fine because they did that so they don't think it's a big deal. However Like I mentioned last time everything that um, my oldest daughter has done to rebel has been quite shocking um, Because I'm not used to that and Brian is not used to that and we're completely confused but then we talk to people um, that actually specialize and girls with trouble behavior and uh, we've spoke we've spoken with the police and stuff like that to try to figure out some type of way and to see what we're doing wrong they say that our daughter's not doing anything bad she's she's not that bad she's um she's what she's doing is nowhere near what she could be doing or what we see happening or what you know what we're used to or anything like that and i get that but in that same token, if I'm not used to it, I honestly believe that it's building up to it. I do not expect any of my girls to be perfect. However, I also do not expect any of my girls to do things that they know um, is not right deliberately and continue to, to continue to stay on the same path and in the same behavior because that's called insanity. Um... So, I mean, it's just quite confusing, and it's very difficult being a parent. So, um, at first, again, like I said, I thought this was just because I, maybe it's the, hey, I'm a stepmother thing. However, you all know that uh, I've had Ari since she's been three years old, and we have full custody of her 365 days a year, seven days a week. So, you know, you all just pray for us. We'll continue to pray for you. Talk to you all next week. Bryant Nisha TV. It's a wrap. Bye, masses. And he is snoring. Really.